Up next in our coverage of Major League Baseball, it's going to be the Milwaukee Brewers facing the Arizona Diamondbacks. And it's on 2K Sports. And tonight, a look around the stadium, 47,000 strong. We'll see the D-backs eager to please a home crowd here today. A little over halfway through the season. Glad to have you with us, 2K Sports and MLB. We're going to take a look at our starting pitcher for Arizona. Well, Steve, uh, Milwaukee hitters, what's he thinking about? Uh, pitching's the key to win any ball game, and with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. Lineup set for this one. Uh, Ron Renicki is going to do it this way. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, game changers to me are guys who are great athletes that can do a lot of things. And Corey Hart is one of those guys. Big guy, 6'6", 220 pounds. Can hit the ball out of the ballpark. If he can figure out a way to cut back on the strikeout, his offensive numbers should go up. And here's Robin Young. Well, the Brewers winning yesterday's contest. In the final tally, they won the series going three for four against the Rockies in Colorado. Swung on, liner to right. One away. And here's how the Diamondbacks will look defensively. Now the State Farm leaderboard to look at pitching staffs who have been the hardest to hit in the last 10 games. The Astros number one, the Braves in second, in third the Brewers, the Cardinals fourth, and at number five, it's the Cubs. Boy, these teams right here are tough to face because they just do not. Last yesterday for the D-backs, they ended up going two for three in the series against the Dodgers. And here's the first one. one. Swings at that fastball and misses 0-1. And they lost that last one, 11 innings. And a lot of wear and tear on that bullpen, and it was just too much for them in those extra innings. And here's the delivery. Runs up to bunt, gets this one down. Number 49, and he makes it to first in time. Now we got a chance to take a look at the lineup for the Diamondbacks. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, one of the great clutch hitters in the game, Hideki Matsui, guy that's driven in many, many a big run for his teams. Look for him today to try to get some guys on base in front of him and deliver the big blow for his team. Now's a good time for a quick look at the Brewers and how they will be positioned on the diamond. And on third, one out. Swung on, line to right field. And it's in there, and Arizona's going to score. Well, a big RBI single right there. And I tell you, anytime you can put that first run on the board, the momentum is in your favor. Take a look at the next. League last year. Let's see where the Diamondbacks ended up ranking. First in walks, second in ERA, and they also show up in the top five in on-base percentage. That will go a long way to their ability to score runs. The more runners you get on, the more... Drew walk is last time. Base is empty with two outs. Can't get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Low for a ball, 2-0. Swung on, liner to right. That should be a base hit. Well, finally they get a hit here in the third inning, their first hit of the game. Let's see if they can do something with it. 
Simmons up at the plate in his rookie year now. Last time through, he had a sacrifice bunt. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the delivery. Change up, just misses. 1 0. Change up just off the black. Falls behind, 2 0. on the way. Oh. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. Well, you fall behind 3-0, and and this is when the pitcher has to be careful. He just can't throw a cookie in there and expect the hitter to take it. 3-0 pitch, a fastball. Cut out and miss, 3-1. He sends this one in the air towards center. And that's the third out. Thomas grabs it. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. D-backs one. Milwaukee nothing. Middle of the lineup, due up. And the desert is roasty here at Chase Field. Dry conditions. Home advantage, I think. Locked in his last plate appearance. Two outs and a runner on second. He deals. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Well, they've got a couple of hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going. And the second time through the lineup, maybe they'll try to figure something out, Gary. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four-seam fastball. That hurts. Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. Now Gary is the breaking ball down and away, and it just runs off the plate for a ball this time. Ooh, he paints the corner with that one. Two and two now. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. No run jet for Milwaukee. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Base is empty and two down. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a change up low, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 oh now. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Pitch on the way. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3 and 0. Oh. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch though. Ball four, he walked him. He didn't give him anything to hit at all. Free pass on four pitches. Coming up at the trade deadline now, here's what the Central Division looks like, courtesy of the State Farm Standings Board. First place, the Cubs. Pirates in second place. In the third spot, it's the Reds. The Brewers, fourth place. Cardinals in the fifth position. 
And wrapping up the list, the Astros. You know, he's clinging to a late-inning one-run advantage here, but the sacks are full. Well, this guy has the stomach to be able to handle this situation. He has the stuff, but now he Ball. has to execute the pitches. Slider just misses 1-0. Oh. Okay, that's his fourth walk we just saw right there, and I think that this would classify as being effectively wild. He's getting the outs that he needs. A 1-0 -oh pitch. Right. Now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. And Steve, uh, it's going to be a good day indeed if you can uh, get away with the walks and still uh, be on the winning side. Well, clearly he's been very fortunate. Now, that may be part of the plan, just trying not to give in. He's making his pitches when he needs to. Strike two. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've only been able to get four hits against him, and he shut them down and kept them off the scoreboard. Taps this one foul off to the left. The one two on its way. Now swinging a shot toward second. And he scores, and we are tied. Uh, just the same. You see the shutout broken up right there, Gary, but still, just a tremendous performance today. A productive hit. Checking the WPA graph, let's measure what the RBI means. Bases are loaded here with only one away. And here's the first one. Oh Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Uh, Gary, I mean, we look at that. That's going to be a tough loss for this team. I mean, a key player like that going down to an injury, such a critical component to this team's offense and defense. He delivers. He lets the 1 0 pitch go by, 1 0 1. Well, Steve, as a manager, even though you're thinking about the rest of this ballgame, you know, as a manager, you're also thinking about now what am I going to do with this lineup in light of the loss? Well, let's hope it's not too serious. We're, we'll keep you updated on, on the severity of the injury as, as it gets forward to dust. Two one pitch. We'll pitch that time at the knees. Two and two. When you throw that breaking ball, you want to throw it down in the zone to get the hitter to chase or just get the bottom of the zone for a strike. That's what he did. On the ground to third. Picked up. One. And they get two. Great right double play. Well, they score a run. One hit and leave a man on. Tie game here in Arizona. at second with two down. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Here's the 1-0. Long out and missed, and it's 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch. Fastball. That's going to be low. 2-1. That fastball right there just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. The 2-1 pitch. 
Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. All knotted up here in Arizona. Well, you went late in. Fireworks, we've got it right here. Key moment in one of the game's best here in the last inning. A chance to be the go-ahead run. Now, Gary, he can't give up a home run right here. He's got a chance. Big time trouble here, and barring a miracle, this game may not be tied for very long. Well, they need to bring the defense in here, Gary, to shut down the go-ahead run at the plate. As a pitcher, you've got to get the ball hit on the ground. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Pitching coaches love it when you can throw it down and away consistently. He got it done right there. Here's the pitch. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball in the outside corner. Ball. Nice to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. The one-two pitch. Taps wow. this one foul to the right. The pitch. You're big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Well, it's a big first out right there, but he finds himself still in a jam, in a tie game. Going to be absolutely critical to be aggressive with the next hitter. Number three slot up again here. He's looking to put an end to it right now. A base hit or a short fly ball probably puts an end to this. That would be a game winner. Three on and one out. Here's the first pitch. It's fouled away. Here's the delivery. Missed badly with the fastball there. One and one. Good spot that time. Hit that outside corner. One and two. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. One two pitch coming. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. 81 miles per hour with some solid movement. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Two outs. Base is loaded. Here's the first pitch. Just missed with the fastball. 1 0. Career batting average 244 against the Brewers. The 1 0 now. Here's a swing and a line drive. And it's in there. A run wins this game. And they win it. Game winning run is across. Walk off win for the home team. Getting it done in. Uh... Extraordinary fashion, everybody celebrating. Now a chance for a little recognition here. Let's take a look at our player of the game. Well, you know, Gary, a lot of times it doesn't matter how many hits you get, but when you get those hits. And sometimes it only takes one, and that's how this game was decided today. That one big hit was the reason this team won. That's why he's our clutch performer. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crock and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.